Hello, my name is Peter. Today I will present our recent work in which we tried to clarify the role of the oxidation state of cerium for the self-healing ability of organic inorganic coatings. Now the work was in, is entitled Lifetime Improvement of Anti-Corrosive PMMA Silica Coatings Using Serum-3 and Serum-4 Self-Healing Agents. The work was performed at the uh, Institute of Chemistry of the Sao Paulo State University in Brazil. Now, the organic and inorganic hybrid coatings combine properties of the polymeric phase such as processability, transparency and hydrophobicity with the high mechanical, thermal and chemical stability of ceramic materials such as silica which also provide excellent adhesion to metallic substrates. This is possible by adding a certain amount of a coupling molecule that links covalently both phases. In this way, contracting the structure, creating a dense network and provide covalent bonding to the metallic substrate. This material can be applied as very efficient anti-corrosive barrier to protect metallic components such as alum aluminum 7075 alloy using used preferentially in the aircraft structures. To ensure a long-term protection really for, uh, for this coating system, two conditions has to be fulfilled to provide an effective physical barrier against aggressive agents with an active protection by the seal feeling ability. Now our results show that only four micrometer thick PMMA silica coating provides effective corrosion protection for more than 720 days in contact with standard saline solution. For this active protection, serum salts show very promising results. In this work, we present new insights on the cell filling mechanism of especially serum 4 in the corrosion and mechanical induced effects. So for this purpose, different concentration of serum-3 and serum-4 salts were added separately to the inorganic solution containing tetratoxicillane in an acidified ethanol water solution, which was then mixed with the organic solution of methyl methacrylate and MPTS coupling agents containing a siloxane group attached to a metacrylate tail, thus providing covalent bonding between both phases. The homogeneous sol was then used to deposit PMS silica coating by immersion on the alum aluminum 7075 alloy. The samples were then dried films, but also freestanding samples at 60 degrees C during 24 hours and then cured at 160 degrees C for three hours. Follow me now this procedure. Two sets of samples were obtained containing between 500 and 5000 ppm of both serum precursors. They were labeled as serum 305 to serum 35 and then serum 405 and serum Four, five, including the PMMA reference uh, referred to as cerium zero. Now to the results, the coating are transparent. They are tend to be a bit yellowish with increasing cerium content, present an excellent adhesion on aluminum substrates of up to 22 megapascal and at medium serum contents the thermal stability reached a value of up to 250 degrees C. Now the atomic force microscopy and secondary electron microscopy showed that the surface of the coatings is very homogeneous and smooth with RMS roughness increasing with higher serum 4 content uh, from 0.3 to 6.7 nanometers indicating in this case of serum 4 the formation of larger serum nanoparticles 
in the PMMA matrix. The absence of pores and cracks confirms the uniformity of the coating. This is an essential precondition for elevated corrosion properties. Okay, then the coatings were subjected to electromechanical impedance spectroscopy in continuous immersion tests. All coatings showed high uh, corrosion resistance with a low frequency impedance modulus of up to 24 giga ohms, six orders of magnitude higher than the uncoated aluminum. In terms of durability, the incorporation of serum free showed excellent protection providing a passive barrier of more than 600 days obtained for the serum free one uh, coating. Coatings with intermediate serum 4 concentrations also provided excellent adhesion and corrosion protection with an impedance modulus higher than 4 giga ohm after more than 720 days uh, of immersion observed for the serum 4 1 coatings. This performance is related to the homogeneous cross linked hybrid structure and the strong adhesion to the aluminum substrate. Although both coatings provided long-term protection, the self-healing ability as a key feature was observed only for the cerium-4 coatings. This can be seen here. The cerium-4-05 coating showed an impedance recovery after pitting. Here we can observe the main changes in the AES and IES profile before and after failure. After three hour of immersion, a quasi ideal capacitive behavior is observed over the almost whole entire uh, frequency range, followed by a drop after 21 days due to local failure. However, after 42 days, a self-healing effect occurs, recovering the impedance modulus by one order of magnitude. This phase angle shows that the main recovery occurs here in the low frequency range, suppressing the charge transfer at the passive layer of the coating aluminum interface. Now, a similar effect was observed for the cerium four five coatings after the appearance of a pit for 157 days of exposure the impedance modulus was spontaneously restored by one order of magnitude after 16 days in this case the phase angle recovery and the high frequency range indicates the filling of the defects thus recovering the corrosion resistance of the coating. The more, more insight on the regeneration process was performed by Toff Sims surface analysis. The overlay maps of aluminum, serum oxide and PMMA and ionic fragments reveal the formation of serum oxide within the pits this is the red, red zones here, né? at this point, marked in red, in the pits that block the progress of the corrosion. Interestingly, there is a spatial correlation between copper of the intermetallics of the aluminum 7075 constituent and cerium oxide fragments indicating that the formation of cerium oxide is favored by copper intermetallic phase that contribute to the cathodic protection in the defective zone. More rigorous tests on the self-healing ability were conducted by the salt spray tests during seven days of artificial scratched coatings. Now the EIS plots were recorded after one and seven days of tests and the results show that the reference coating presented a drop 
of the impedance modulus due to the corrosion reactions on the surface. The cerium free samples presented a similar impedance response after one week of testing, showing, however, no inhibition effect with increasing concentration. On the other hand, cerium fog containing coatings, a self healing effect can be clearly observed, demonstrating here the inhibitory effect of cerium 4 in large defect areas. Now to study the re regeneration mechanism, SEM images and elemental EDS maps of the scratched coatings were obtained. Compared with the reference sample, the SEM images show that the cerium containing coatings form a film in the scratch track. EDS maps show that the central region of the scratch track is mainly composed of aluminum corrosion products. Although cerium was not detected in the central region of the scratch due to the low, uh, high sample depth of EDS, a clear spatial uh, correlation between cerium and copper rich zones in the scratch track, uh, stretch, scratch track edges can be observed, more evident here for the cerium for 5 coating. Now a clear evidence for the presence of cerium oxides in the scratch track was obtained by TOF-SIM surface maps. After 7 days of salt spray test, an accumulation of cerium oxide and copper species were found within the scratch track, confirming the high reactivity of serum species at intermetallic particles from forming a protective layer of insoluble species. Okay, now we take a look at the nanostructure of PMM silica samples with increasing serum 4 addition, investigated by TM. In the upper images we can see for zero or low serum 4 loading, a homogeneous distribution of silica and cerium within the PMA matrix. However, larger agglomerates in the range of 30 to 80 nanometers appear for higher serum content, indicating the serum nanoparticles and probably also residual nitrides can act as nanocontainers for the liberation of serum ions at corrosion sites. Now, the oxidation state of the cerium and presence of oxides were studied using the X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy. By deconvoluting the oxygen 1S and the serum 3D spectrum, the XPS results show that the self healing ability of serum 4 containing coatings in pits and artificial defects can be related with the higher quantity of cerium 4 species. In this process, leached cerium 4 ions react at the bottom of the pits at low pH of these anodic sites with the EH ions produced in the oxygen reduction re reaction leading to the formation of insoluble oxides and hydroxides preferentially formed at intermetallics that act as sites for cathodic protection. Now, in summary, the structural and electrochemical investigation performed in this work showed that PMA silica cerium 4 coatings with a thickness of only 5 micrometers have a very strong adhesion to the aluminum substrate and provide excellent and durable corrosion protection. This physical barrier is not only efficient than more than 720 days of immersion in standard saline solution, but also smart, providing active corrosion protection 
by self-healing of pets and larger artificial defects exposed to aggressive environments. So, I like to thank for your attention and I open for any questions.